a pastoral elegy and the death of the most noble and valorous knight, Sir Philip Sidney dedicated to the most beautiful and virtuous lady, the Countess of Essex. Shepherds that won't on pipes of oaten reed, oft times to plaint your lose concealed smart and with your piteous lays o learn to breed compassion in a country lass's heart hearken ye gentle shepherds to my song, and place my doleful plaint your plaints among to you alone I sing this mournful verse, the mournfulst verse that o'er a man heard tell to you whose softened hearts it may impears, with dollars dart for death of astrophil to you I sing and to none other white. For well I wot my rhymes been a rudely dight yet as they been, if any nissa which shall hap to hear, or cure them to read think he, that such are for such ones most fit, made not to please the lewing but the dead and if in him found pity or a place, let him be more ood to pity such a case, a gentle shepherd born in Arcady, of gentlest trace that or a shepherd bore about the grassy banks of H money, did keep his sheep, his little stock and store full carefully he kept them day and night, in fairest fields, and Astrophil he hight young Astrophil the pride of shepherds praise, young Astrophil the rustic lasses loofer passing all the pastors of his dyes, in all that seemly shepherd might bahow in one thing only failing of the best, that he was not so happy as the rest. For from the time that first the nymph his mother him forth did bring, and taught her lambs to feed a slender swain excelling far each other, in comely shape, like her that did him breed he grew vp fast in goodness and in grace and doubly fair walks both in mind and face which daily more and more he did augment, with gentle visage and demeanour mild that all men's hearts with secret roishment he stole away, and weetingly beguiled knee spite itself that all good things doth spill, found aught in him, that she could say was ill, his sports were fair, his aunts innocent, sweet without saw, and honey without gall and he himself seemed made for merriment, merrily masking both in boar and hall there was no pleasure nor delightful play, when Astrophil so I was away for he could pipe and dance, and carol sweet, amongst the shepherds in their shearing feast as summer's lark that with her song doth greet, the dawning day forthcoming from the east and lays of Lou he also could compose, thrice happy she, whom he to praise did chose, full many maidens often did him woo, them to vouch safe amongst his rhymes to name, or make for them as he was wont to do, for her that did his heart with Lou in flame for which they promised to dight for him, gay chapelets of flowers and gyalons trim and many a nymph both of the wood and brook, soon as his oaten pipe began to shrill both Christ all wells and shady grooves forsook, to hear the charm of his enchanting skill and brought him presents, flowers if it were prime, or mellow fruit if it were harrowest time, but he for none of them did care a whit, yet would gods for them oft ten, sides saw knee for their gifts than worthy of his wit, yet not than worthy of the country's store for one alone he cared, for one he sight, his life's desire, and his dear loose delight Stella the fair, the fairest star in ski, as fair as Venus or the fairest fairer fairer star saw Noia lewing I, s hot her sharp pointed beams through purest air her he did loo, her he alone did honour, his thoughts, his rhymes, his songs were all vp her, to her he vowed the serous of his dyes, on her he spent the riches of his wit for her he made him an air of immortal praise, of one he her he sung, he thought, he writ her, and but her of Lou he deemed, for all the rest but little he esteemed knee her with little words alone he wowed, and verses vain, yet verses are not vain but with brow a deeds to her soul serous vowed, and bold achievements her did entertain for both in deeds and words he noted was, both wise and hardy, too hardy alas, in wrestling nimble, and in running swift, in shooting steady, and in swimming strong, well made to strike, to throw, to leap, to lift and all the sports that shepherds are among. In Uri one he vanquished Uri one, he vanquished all, and vanquished was of none besides. In hunting such felicity, or rather in felicity he found that Uri field and forest far away, he sought, where saluage beasts do most abound. No beast so saluage but he could it kill, no chase so hard, but he therein had skill. Such skill matched with such courage as he had, did prick him forth with proud desire of praise to seek abroad, of dawn genortia drad, his mistress' name, and his own fame to raise. What need death, peril to be sought abroad, since round about verses, it doth make a bow added fortune as he, that perilous game in foreign soil pursued far away into a forest wide, and waste he came west or he heard to be of saluage prey so wide a forest and so waste as this, nor famous Arden, nor foul Lalo is. 
There his well wound toils and subtle trains. He laid the brutish nation to enwrap so well he wrought with practice and with pains, that he of them great troops did soon entrap full happy man, misweening much, was he, so rich a spoil within his power to see eftsoons all heedless of his dearest hail, full greedily into the herd he thrust to slaughter them, and work their final bale, least that his toller should of their troops be bruised wide wounds amongst them many a one he made. Now with his sharp boar spear, now with his blade, his care was all how he them all might kill, that none might scape, so partial them to none ill meant so much to mend in others ill, as to become them minful of his own but pardoned that them to the cruel skies, that from himself to them withdrew his eyes so as he ragged amongst that beastly rout, a cruel beast of most accursed brood of him turned, despire makes cowards stout and with fell tooth accustomed to blood, launched his thigh with so mischievous might that it both bone and muscles yewed quite. So deadly was the dint and deep the wound, and so huge streams of blood thereout did flow that he endured not the direful stound, but on the cold dear earth himself did throw the whiles the caps you heard his nets did rend, and owing none to let, to wood did wend our where were ye this while his shepherd pairs, to whom all you was naught so dear as he and ye fair maids the matches of his years, which in his grace did boast you most to be our where were ye, when he of you had need to stop his wound that wondrously did bleed our wretched boy the shape of drehead, and sad ensample of man's sudden end full little faileth but thou shalt be dead, then pitied, then blamed, of foe or friend whilest none is nigh, thine eyelids vp to close, and kiss thy lips like faded lews of rose a sort of shepherd sowing of the chase, as they the forest raunched on a day by fate or fortune came to the place, whereas the luckless boy yet bleeding lay yet bleeding lay, and yet would still o bled, had not good hap those shepherds thither led, they stopped his wound, too late to stop it was and in their arms they softly did him rear toe, as he wild, vento his lewd lasser, his dearest lew him dolefully did bear the dolefulst bear that o'er a man did see, was astrophil, but dearest vento me she when she saw her lew in such a plight, with crudled blood and filthy gore deformed that wont to be with flowers and gyalons dight, and her dear foes dearly well adorned her face, the fairest face that I mote see, she likewise did deform like him to be, her yellow locks that shone so bright and long, as sunny beams in fairest summer's day she fiercely tore, and with outrageous wrong from her red cheeks the roses rent away, and her fair breast the threshery of a, she spoiled thereof, and filled with annoy his palled face impictured with death. She bathed oft with tears and dried oft and with sweet kisses sucked the wasting breath, out of his lips like lilies pale and soft and oft she called to him, who answered naught, but only by his looks did tell his thought, the rest of her impatient regret, and piteous moan the which she for him made no tongue can tell, nor any forth can set, but he whose heart like sorrow did in ard at last when pain his vital powers had spent, his wasted life her weary lodge forwent which when she saw, she stied not a whit, but after him did make them timely haste forth with her ghost out of her corpse did flit, and followed her make like turtle chase to prove that death their hearts cannot die, which lewing were in lew so firmly tied, the gods which all things see, this same beheld, and pitying this pair of lures true transformed them there lying on the field, into one floor that is both red and blue it first grows red, and then to blue doth fade, like astrophil which there into was made and in the midst thereof a star appears, as fairly formed as any star in skies resembling Stella in her freshest years, forth darting beams of beauty from her eyes, and all the day it standeth full of diao, which is the tiris, that from her eyes did flow, that harb of some, starlight is called by name, of others penthia, though not so well but thou where o'er thou dost find the same, from this day forth do call it Tastrophil and when so o'er thou it vp do a stake, do pluck it softly for that shepherd's sake hereof when tidings far abroad did pass a, the shepherds all which lewed him full dear, and sure full dear of all he lewed was, did feather flock to see what they did hear and when that pitter spectacle they viewed, the same with bitter tears they all bedewed, and Yuri one did make exceeding moan, with inward anguish and great grief oppressed and Yuri one did weep and wail and moan, and means doyous to show his sorrow best that from that her since first on grassy green, shepherds kept sheep, was not like a morning scene, 